kembo 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 na tatanzambi ya manzulu kinfumu kia kuyisa let his kingdom come and his will be done on earth as it is in zulu mbote nusiemi salama to all the bento family all over the world to the dispersed and outcast of isolele in the eastern and western hemisphere I pray that the spirit of Nzama Pongotulendo Yakongo is with all of you wherever you are in this world. So this video is a continuation of our series through Bantu names of the 12 tribes of Isolele. Isolele of course eh, is in English Israel but the true Bantu name is Yisolele, loved and chosen tribes. In Kikongo, we say Mavila. If you haven't watched the first part, the introduction, make sure to watch that video first. Jacob, who is called Yakuba, had 12 sons. Um, and the firstborn was named Reuben. Reuben, we are told in scripture, was the beginning of his strength. And Leah conceived and bare a son, and she called his name Reuben. For she said, Surely, Yakongo had looked upon my affliction. Now, therefore, my husband will love me. Genesis 29, verse 32. When you look into the Strong's for the name Reuben in this uh, scripture first, we get the Strong's code 87205, Reuben uh, being defined as behold a son. From the imperative of Ra and Ben. Ra means to see, look, behold, observe, perceive, and seer. In the Kidigu Bantu of Tanzania, Ra means to shine, to behold, in the light. So, to behold in the light, that is to say, in the light of the sun. Uh, it's defined as son, child, grandson, a member of a group. Ben, Bena can be a son of the house, a son of the community, or a son as a member of the nation. In the Arabic, we have uh, Rubin uh, for Ruben. Now, the letter R and L are interchangeable in Semitic languages. Uh, now, Bantu language is a Semitic Hamitic language. So, Ra can be La. La or Laya, which means to watch or to observe in the Congo language. And Bena means son or child. Hence, La Bena or Laya Bena means look or observe the sun. And it has a prophetic connotation. Ra, in its Hebrew definition, is used for the vision of a seer. So we see in the proclamation of Leah um, a prophetic connotation when she says, Behold the sun. Ruben, in the Kikongo, I'd say, in the Bantu will be La Bena or Lobeni Ra Bena Robena. And La Bena, uh, let's say Ruben, was named in the circumstance of Leah wanting the love and affection of her husband. She said, Behold, I gave you a son. Will I now have your love? Hence, we can see that uh, the name. Ruben eh, or Labena Lobeni is connected with affection and love. In the language of the African Surinamers, the word for love is lobby. 
Now, low B is also seen in uh, the variation of Ruben in the band to Lobeni. And as I said, uh, Ruben, eh, La Bena or Lobeni is a name connected with affection or love, eh, the want for love. I came across this website as I was doing some uh, research. And on this website, I have found the African name Lobeni. Yes, from which derived Ruben. Now remember the L and R are interchangeable in Semitic Hamitic languages. And now it tells us that uh, the name Lobeni has the most appearance in Africa. We see here DR Congo. DRC, the heart of Africa, we see in uh, Zimbabwe, South Africa, of course, uh, Uganda, and even in India, the name Lobeni appears as a surname. We have places as Malawi, Solomon Islands, Zimbabwe, DRC Congo. No, DR Congo, South Africa, India, Uganda, these are places where the name Lobeni, you know, appears. And Lobeni is a variation of Robena, Labena, okay? all for Ruben. Lobeni has its highest incidence in Malawi. It can be found in the variant forms for other possible spellings of Lobeni. Click here, and now let's click on that one. And we get Lobeni, Lobengi, Losbeni, Lobinio, Lobenai, Lobenaya, Labeni, Lobene, Lobena, Lobini. Interesting, so they are the variations of Lobeni or Labeni, Robeni. How common is the last name Lobeni? Now, the surname 1,544,715 most prevalent last name on a global scale. It is born by around 1 in 54,384,671 people. Lobeni occurs predominantly in Africa. Yes. Lobeni occurs predominantly where? In Africa. Where 89% of Lobeni are found. 85% are found in Southern Africa and 85% are found in South Bantu Africa. I don't know if that makes any sense, but okay. Loben is also the most frequently held first name throughout the world. Born by 264 people. Now remember, these are only people who have been yeah, registered in some way yeah, uh, on the, in the government. I believe the, um, the amount is much higher of people who are named Lobeni. Because not everyone in, in Africa, uh, in some poor areas, you know, or people who are very poor, do not have a birth certificate, do not have a passport, etc. So the name uh, Lobeni is an African name and also found in different parts of the world like India. Now Leia in her proclamation said, surely the Lord had looked upon my affliction or humiliation because she felt that uh, Jacob loved Rachel more. And she was right of course. Uh, in the biblical narrative, it's clearly mentioned that Yakuba loved Rachel more. So she felt humiliated. 
Yes, uh, she felt a lack of love, a lack of affection. So therefore she said, now that I have borne you this son, I have given you a son, now therefore my husband will love me. Once again we see here that the name Reuben is associated with love or one who uh, has a want for love. Will love me is the Hebrew translation of Yehabani, Yehabani, connected with the end of Reuben's name. Yehabani in Ingala can clearly be seen in the Lingala word Yebana of the verb Koyeba, which is defined as to know one another, to have sexual relationship, to experience love and affection. As we can see here in the Lingala dictionary, Yebana from the verb Koyeba to know. Yes, Koyebana uh, here, Koyebana. To know one another, to have sexual intercourse. Yes, Koyebama, right here, Koyebama, to be known, yes, intimately, to be known intimately. So the Hebrew that is translated here with will love me is Yehebani, connected with the end of Reuben's name, which is clearly seen in the Lingala Bantu Yebana, yeah, of the verb Koyebana, to know one another, to have sexual relationships, or sexual relation, to experience love and affection. Now, Reuben is in a prophetic sense the son of affection or the son for affection. So the name for Reuben, the true name, the true Bantu name for Reuben and his tribe is Labena or Lobeni or Robena. Behold the son, and also connected with love, affection. I am Nabi Kefas. Make sure to subscribe and follow for more. Thank you for watching. Zambi Abenisa. Beluka Yinahisa Yakongo. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Congo.